Hello coders, welcome to the code cool. My name is Anirudh. In this video tutorial, we are going to see what is the correct way of instantiating the fragment. So I have changed some code over here in the main activity. I have commented this line and used this line. So instead of creating this, you are going to have some static method, public static method inside the fragment class, which is this. So you created one public static my fragment and get instance method. So one string type of parameter is there. You have created object of the fragment class. Then you have created one bundle object. Then you have assigned this bundle object to this fragment over here. And then you have written the fragment. Okay. So things to note that this line, so fragment dot set argument. And here you have called something fragment dot get arguments means whenever you are going to create object of fragment class, you are going to provide some argument data to that fragment. So intention behind doing this is the reflection API. Whenever you create some object using reflection API, so it uses the constructor with no parameter. And that is the only thing that's why Android team is asking you not to use any parameter uh, parameterized constructor like this see if you are doing this thing public and say my fragment and here string name likewise this wouldn't be acceptable by the fragment class why if i call super over here if you go to this this fragment see what they have seen the default constructor every fragment must have an empty constructor so it can be instantiated when restoring its state and fragments are always instantiated by using this method and see what this method is using can you find that class and this thing if, if you check this method new instance so fragment class dot new instance and this is a reflection API of the Java. And what about the new instance? What they are saying, see, creates a new instance of the class represented by this object. So this class is instantiated as if by a expression with the empty argument list. See, this is very important with an empty argument list. So there would be one constructor which is having no arguments means default constructor so you can remove this thing and you can keep this thing as it is that's fine so this would be the empty or simply you can delete it and that's why they are saying that and that's why android team has created something called as arguments means whenever you are going to create the object of the fragment that object is having one method something called as set arguments and you are going to pass some bundle data to it. So if you want to retrieve that bundle data, so what I did over here is that on in the on create method, simply I have called, I have given the call to the set text. And when you call the set text method, here you are going to call get the arguments. If bundle is not equals to null, then I have found the text view and just set text and this key. If you check it, this key and this key is the same, means I would be getting this my data which is coming from this. So whenever you create the object of the my fragment dot get instance, you are passing some data over here. So that will come to here and that is going to be inserted as a string into the bundle and same string you are retrieving over here. As a standard, what you can do is that, see you can make it constant like this, say key underscore my data right you can have key underscore my underscore data and create the constant field instead of private you can make it public public my data and the key would be say my data as a standard so this is a standard so you will not have some spelling mistake and other things like this set text so what's happening is that you created this thing you created this thing so things to note over is that creation of the bundle assigning the argument data right here getting the bundle and fetching the data from the bundle and this 
line so if i run the code you'll see something like this so if you can change it like this this is code cool this is code cool and let's run the code and see what happens so your code is running and you will find this is co code cool sorry the spelling mistake and say this is code cool right so this is about creation of the fragment instance using the get instance method thanks for watching the video and if you have not subscribed yet kindly subscribe the code cool channel so that you can get in detail so we are coming with very latest trends in the android once again thanks for listening